Morning, folks. Uh, welcome back to 3Zen. Nice to see everybody. So I'm going to begin by reading a short list of names to you, and then I'll explain the significance here as we go along. Byron Allen, Robert Hobart, Hal Meisterling, Frank Lorquan, commonly known as Lurk, Don Ryerson, John Meyer, Jerry Hall, Alex Archibald, Bill Miller, Robert Holliker, and Jim James Clevenger. Now, these are names that came out on a list here uh, that was printed on the 15th of March, 1988, just prior to uh, when I retired. And the significance of this list uh, was these guys had all achieved 3,000 hours of, of uh, flight time in the T-38. That was a club I wanted to belong to. Uh, that was a milestone that I thought would mean something to me. Byron Allen, very, very dear friend. I just loved flying with Byron. Every time I went airborne with Byron, I would learn something. And uh, Robert Hobart, I did not know him. Hal Meisterling, I had met him. He was, uh, oh, I imagine six years, eight years older than I was. Boy, I admired him. He's the guy that, uh, when he came back from Southeast Asia, checked back out in the 38, and on his checkout, he rolls out on final, he sees these lights flat looking at him, and what the hell are those? And the kid in the back says, oh, sir, those are uh, Vassies. He says, what are they for? Well, they help you land. Oh, nice to know. And that was about that. Frank, Frank Lurk, when Lurk was a flying fool, and here it has him listed with... Uh, 3,360 hours. He has, well, more than doubled that. Uh, Don Ryerson flew with him. The thing I remember about Don Ryerson is he had a helmet that was so big. It was like flying behind a, a, um, a Home Depot paint bucket, I guess. John Meyer flew with him. John was the squadron commander of the 12th Student Squadron when I took over for him when I replaced him. Jerry Hall, I knew who he was, uh, never flew with him. Same thing with Arch, Archibald. Um, Bill Miller was a character. I did not know him, I knew who he was. I ha really admired him. He was one of these guys that on uh, weekends, he would uh, go out and ride on uh, bulls or horses, broncos uh, in the rodeo, and then Monday morning come in and get his ass chewed for it. My hero. Um, and then, uh, Jim, uh, Clevenger, I did not know him, but, uh, I'm on the list with 3,043 hours. This was in March and I eventually, um, retired with uh, a little over 3,500 hours. So between March, 1988 and when I retired in, uh, July, 88, I was a flying fool. I, uh, I just loved strapping on that jet. And uh, I knew that it was coming to an end, let's see, March, so it'd be April, May, June, July, four months. And I averaged over 50 hours a month. Now that is hilarious because uh, one of the uh, reasons why I decided to get out was when that college boy called me in and chewed my ass out for flying too much. I love that. At any rate, uh, I just wanted to mention these names for you. Uh, in the great scheme of life, what's it mean? Uh, probably not too much, but to me it means a great deal. Now, there are others in this 3,000-hour club uh, I'm aware of. I, I think uh, Dobie Gillis is on there now, and uh, Rat is on there, and Steph Eisen, I think I saw where he's on there. If you know of anybody that is on there, uh, forward it to me, forward their names to me, um, on, in the comments section, I'll be more than delighted to add them to the list. It'd be nice to know if you knew what their total time was, too. At any rate, uh, just thought I'd take a moment and acknowledge these guys. They, uh, they're they guys that I just love uh, bumping elbows with, sharing stories with, and I really admire. So with that being said, uh, this is Bobo, Base Gear. Stop.